Good evening. I'm Sharon Okubo, founder of Anda Vijana Initiative and the global champion of the Red Card Campaign. I am also one of the moderators, co-moderators today. I'd like to welcome you to the global launch of the Red Card Campaign to raise a red card to all forms of discrimination and violence against women and girls. This is a two-hour event aimed at celebrating the power, promise, and potential of women and girls, saying no to all forms of gender-based discrimination and violence, and helping to shape a world where no one is left behind. I would now like to hand over my mic, the mic uh, to my co-moderator, James Swee. Good afternoon. Thank you, Sharon. My name is James Shu, and I am the legal counsel and director of programs for ARDN, the African Renaissance and Diaspora Network, uh, about the red card campaign that everyone uh, has a red card in their hands. So in the game of football, a red card is shown to any player who has committed a serious infraction of the rules, and it permanently dismisses that player from the field. The red card campaign envisions any form of gender-based discrimination as vi and violence as a serious infraction of the rules of society deserving of a red card. Next year, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights turns to 75. Article 1 of the Declaration states that all human beings are born equal, free, and equal in dignity and in rights. However, today, almost three quarters of a century since the Declaration was adopted, institutions throughout the world including here, where we are, many led predominantly by men, still seek to impair the dignity and rights of women and girls in their states, countries, communities, cities, companies, and organizations to deprive our mothers, daughters, sisters, and wives of their mental and physical autonomy and to prevent women from making real choices in all aspects of their life. I can certainly think of a number of people today deserving of a red card. That being said, it must be emphasized that it's also important to not only put an end to all forms of gender-based discrimination and violence, but to also ensure that women and girls are uplifted and empowered and provided the tools and support to thrive. We have a very exciting agenda today, and I am very glad to introduce Dr. Jabril Diallo, the President and Chief Executive Officer of the African Renaissance and Diaspora Network, who will provide some welcome remarks. 